That's right. You land in front of your favorite castle. It's so square. <laughs> and then Ken and Roberta Williams are like, oh, it's probably just the Gators entertaining another Space Crisp player. Go back to sleep, Roberta. So, apparently Ken and Roberta Williams have now moved to the King's Quest castle. Also, there are 20 alligators. Yeah, there's here. a lot more alligators in the... <laughs> Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it? You've stumbled to a place, time, space, and the end dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you, since you're now playing Space Quest. Well, not really anymore, because you've died. Well, that's true. That's now go find the egg up the tree. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Oh. I can't, I can't find an egg up anything. Uh, go uh. find an egg up your tree. I mean... Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> that was pretty good. So, see, Space Quest is a is a really fun series and game. Even though it was made at the same time as King's Quest, for some reason it seems a lot more sophisticated. Even though the graphics are, you know, similar. Yeah, but it's more squarey, so it. It's more you, you're stopping obsessed with squares. You swear. no. Monitor flashes. Says. So. Here's the planet we're going to, um, 40 degrees Celsius. The planet is called Corona. Yes, named after the beer. Um. That's right. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. So, you crash landed. I thought land they named it after the, the thing that is around the, the sun. No, no, no. But Corona in Latin and Spanish means, uh, crown. Just, just right. throwing that out there. Wonderful. But it's named after the beer. Okay. After a school jarring landing, you peer through the shattered viewing port onto the desert landscape. A feeling of utter desolation settles in. You're in a fine mess now, yawn I tour Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Best name ever. <laughs> so now we've crash landed. And here's another screw you game from Sierra. If you look... What you mean, screw you game moment? There's a way... I don't remember how... There we go. Uh, see? It, if, if you put in the correct look command, it tells you there's a survival kit. But if you don't, you don't know there's a kit. So... Then you're screwed because you don't have the kit. Okay. Leave. I'm sorry, Dave. Pods is destroyed. Also, there's a piece of glass that broke off. So if you don't look at the pod, then you won't be able to get that piece of glass. Also, I think you have to open the kit. It contains a Xenon army knife and a can of dehydrated water. Mm, dehydrated. Hydrated water. <laughs> think about that for more than five seconds. The, the Yeah. So here, here's another... Yet another screw you moment from Sierra. So I'm just exploring the desert. Do do to do. Oh, I'm dead. You should become a vertical meal for the local welcoming committee. Hey, play that again. I, I was looking down. <laughs> Go kill myself again? Yes, I was looking down. All right, well, what if I move down then? Do do to do do. Do do to do. do, 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 do. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> The design of that monster is pretty cool. So basically, I, I shouldn't have walked in rhythm. <laughs> you just have to know that One Direction, okay, this looks different, so it's clearly the right thing to do. So, because you can't get killed if there's a cliff in the distance. Ooh, a hole! Let's see what advertisement for another Sierra Games in this hole. Hmm. What's in the hole? Ah! Hope your head gets cut off. Oh. Nope, you just get killed. <laughs> Burp. Oh, <laughs> I was right. What is everything in that hole just enjoyed lunch? On you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Uh. Watch out for alien holes. You heard me. Well, here's a screen. Okay, so I'm trying to remember what to do next. Other than just wander around this place. 
There's a way to get up on that path that I just saw a second ago. But first, we go in here. Ah! There's a dying creature! Ooh, I like it. Well, oh, I... I yeah, that is the Orat. Orat? Orat is huge and ugly. Of course, your opinion may differ depending on what part of the universe you come from. You know what I mean, ladies. It should also be mentioned he is quite mean. You know what I mean, And ladies. if you get close to him, this happens. What have we here? <laughs> he turned you into a basketball. Or it does transform you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. Ah, it's tough to make friends around here. Oh, Space Quest. So cheeky. Anyway, so that's what happens with Orad. It just basically... But if you go up here... One thing, one thing um, Sierra liked doing a lot, this game and also King's Quest 3, is have sections where you just have to navigate like thin um, walkways for no reason at all. Also, this one cracks a little bit. There's something that's supposed to happen and it hasn't yet. It disturbs me. I find your lack of knowledge. Because remember, remember that spider that we saw in the preview? It's supposed to have appeared by now. I don't see. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Suddenly you see a large black metal sphere falling out of the sky. A Sarian spider droid. On touching down on the planet's surface, it sprouts legs and begins its search for you. You go from an article in Space Piston magazine that this droid is designed to seek out organic life forms. You did what in your magazine? You heard me. <laughs> anyway, so that thing can't get us because we're on top of this cliff. But... Let's see, what's the best way to show this off? Well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so, what do you think we do on this screen? Die. Well, we can. We just fall off the cliff and that will kill us. You can also stand between these pillars and suddenly... What? What? Random elevator for no reason. For that. I'm on a desert planet. Also, you see that rock there that looks like part of the background? You have to get it. Throwing that out there. As you can see, there's a grate on the ground. <laughs> now that thing will eat you if you walk on the grate. Now, see, there's a geyser here. If you put the rock on the geyser, then it will open a door for no reason. This room is a nice room. Got a nice pool over here. Gaze intently at the purplish pool of liquid. First real sign of moisture on the planet. The pool seems to have no bottom. The gentle dripping has a soothing effect on your frazzled nerves. Ooh, let's get a drink from this pool. You lean over to drink from the tempting pool of liquid. As your lips touch the fluid, you feel pain, which could be likened to kissing a lit rocket nozzle. Now you know what they mean when they say, don't drink the water. And you come up and you have no head. That's Ooh. right, you have no head. The tarn pool must be filled with acid. You obviously can't go on living that way. So... Thank you, Roberta Williams. Well, this was actually um, Scott Murphy and Mark Crow. But Thank you, Scott Murphy and Roberta Williams. <laughs> I want to put that out there. If you're, if you're listening, Roberta. She, she is not. Is she dead? She might be. I mean, no, she's not dead, but... So here, here's some beams. They look dangerous, don't they? You can just walk right through them, see? No, no problem. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh. I thought it was a metal detector. Oh. You're now lying on the floor in pieces. Guess those beams need business, Jan I Tor Fred. <laughs> I just That's like, right, and don't you forget it. I just like showing off ways to die because there are a million. So you, you take the piece of glass you found and you short circuit it. 
That's all. Oh, and before I forget, that gadget I picked up is a dialect translator. I have to turn it on to speak to aliens. So, if you don't do that, then it just makes the next part annoying. Now we're on the top of the screen, and we have to not get killed by acid. Whoop. Real acid? Yeah, it's dripping. Not that hard, but it's kind of annoying. So anyway... What about that spider? Or Orat, you might be asking yourself. You end your room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak. Uh, and here comes this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Giant bug-eyed man! It's the great and powerful Gzgraz! What's his name? He's the wizard of Glorbsgaz. Did you make that up? Or yes, that I, I totally just did. You're the wizard of Glorbsgaz. Look, it's a hologram. Here it talks. Hello, you all found your way to my hollow chamber. <laughs> it appears you are up the proverbial estuary without a means of locomotion. <laughs> up a creek an, without it. An es I thought an estuary was a, a bird habitat. No, that's an aviary. Oh. You obviously needs of transportation. Let us see if you're worthy of our assistance. <laughs> the surface of his beast called Orat. Proves to be a bit of annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. For science! And poop! You Look get, at these desert scenes. You get they're so back well out. drawn. They're, yeah, I feel like they're I'm in so, southern Utah. They're so not square. Hey, pl there are plenty. Look at those rectangular edges. <laughs> They're plenty square. You're square. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's the nicest thing you have ever. Okay, so that that thing cr me. cracked again. Ah, the, the spider droid comes back. I guess it left for a minute. So now what you've got to do is kind of lead that thing around for a bit, so it doesn't kill you. It will if you're dumb. It's like the goat from King's Quest 1. If the goat was a spider and killed you. Though, so, actually, nothing like the goat. Where is he? There he is. G -g -g goat! <laughs> can you see what can you see where I'm going with this? Hey Orat, what's word? So you hide behind this rock. Orat's like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> they cancel each other out, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the cave interior now features a lovely new jagged metal slash liberated entrails motif. The stench? Foo! Not even an all text adventure would attempt that description. <laughs> hey, can we pause for just one second? Uh, I have to use the restroom. Um, yeah, we'll pause to use the restroom real I'll quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Be right back. We'll, Enjoy we'll, the music. Give it give it five mi minutes. We'll uh we'll be back soon. Hold on, it's it's loading. Uh, I'll click on this. We'll the be diddler's back got a diddle.